don't don't really fight that character. Sometimes yeah. it's hard to fight or to avoid fighting that character, but uh, you, sometimes you gotta. Jackson, flee, flee for your lives. <laughs> So, no Joker on stage right now as we've got Logic going with perhaps his new main in Mewtwo. He's looking into Mewtwo and Pikachu as well as Ollie. He's trying to like adjust to the nerfs here and see if the character's still good. The shield nerfs might be particularly nasty. I don't know if that's an actual bug though. I feel like the character should probably have a shield. I don't think it's a bug, but I don't think it's a bug. If that makes sense. Like, it's just a byproduct of the hurt box change and they just probably do it. Up the shield. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because Pichu had that note. Like in the patch notes, uh, uh, it said Pichu's shield size increased, and as well as hitbox size increased. Ollie didn't get that. Yeah. Yeah, it's just an unfortunate oversight for Olimon. But uh, Logic, he was already starting to like play more Mewtwo even when Olimar was busted. So th I feel like this might be maybe his soul main, or maybe he just wasn't really feeling Olimar in this game. But. He has the Mewtwo, because Mewtwo's working okay so far. If he can land a forward air around now, it could be it. But Snake's hitbox is being so big, and Mewtwo having such huge hurtbox could spell disaster. Yes, yeah, so something, something, something kind of unfortunate in this matchup here is that um, Mewtwo, the way that the tail is angled up in his idle animation and his running animation, um, Snake can eat that a lot. Up tilt against Mewtwo is so free, it's just kind of not fair. Yeah. Yeah, especially if he's facing away from you. His tail is like just kind of there. Yep. Floating in your face, dangling. It's like, please hit me. And uh, most snakes will oblige and oblige with hard hitting, punishing moves. Oh, happily. So far, Logic's problem seems to be right now that he's having a lot of trouble adjusting to the ace in this matchup. Because he's getting blocked a little bit too much here. Yeah, Mewtwo's hurtbox being so big means that you don't really have a precise way to space around these um, grenades like that. But this is a spot where Mewtwo can certainly, if Logic chooses, challenge Snake and perhaps even threaten to kill him. When that Snake tries to go high, Mewtwo has the tools to just cover your landings with three or four different options. It's really difficult to read what Mewtwo's going to do. Great pivot grab, too. That's one of the one of the ways that Mewtwo can do that. His standing grab animation seems lackluster to me, but for some reason, the pivot grab just feels like big. Yeah, the pivot grab is pretty huge in Smash 4 also, but in this game, yeah, where it's rare to see pivot grabs since you can't run through people. The fact that he still has an operational one is great. Oh, oh great confusion. disable! Or disable, excuse me. Yeah, you're right. Oh, my God. How did he know? Just called it out the run-in. And now Logic looking confused early on, but now that he found his footing, spike this man. Oh, he's just dead. Just dead. Jalen left the C4 on the platform. DI'd a little bit too low right there, and uh, that is all she wrote. Logic, a little bit rusty stock one, perhaps, but turning it up, stock three. That, as soon as he hit that uh, disable, everything really fell for him. That was such a great little, and then the conversion three hits with a fully charged Shadow Ball dealing 50% and forcing Snake off stage. Yeah, I mean, fully charged Shadow Ball does like 23, I want to say. So it does a fair chunk of damage. You can't afford to be getting hit by that. Yeah, that, that is a move that can turn a set around. Yeah. Oh, Logic. Um, just kind of thinking about his bands. Jalen taking a second to maybe review his notes, change up some music, just to kind of get himself back into it. Because after, he just couldn't get the second stock away from Logic. He kind of got lost, it seems. I, I think that that's one of those that you can just kind of chalk up to just tech club. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah, just, he was at a one. mediocre percent, like 50 or so, and then just died. I, I, you can't let that affect your mentality. Just go back to it, reset, find your center, settle yourself, get your feet planted on the ground, game two, and get going. Not at all. Yeah, you just got to keep your head in the game. Got to, got to, got to get your head in the game. So on to game two here. Logic sticking with that Mewtwo after that good result game one on the Smashville. What do you think this one platform is going to give uh, that Jalen needs? Um, he can place a C4 on it because Mewtwo is just that big. It just covers more percentage of the stage where Logic just can't be. And space control. I think that's the best way to put it here. This this stage is just hell on bigger characters against Snake. Now, someone in the chat asked me, Are, am I ever going to get rid of the sideburns? No. Next question. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fairly certain that like that that's like the J Dog. Yeah, I can't, actually I can't get rid of them. They just grow back like a day. Damn, not a that's day. Power. Like, yeah. That's power. That's power right there. They're just supposed to be here. It's my destiny. 
like Lodge Destiny might be able to take this game if he can capitalize on this edge guard. He goes all the way out there, but doesn't quite get the forward air. These neutral airs are interesting. That's one of the moves that Mewtwo had that was teamed up a little bit. Neutral air into forward air still works sometimes, but it's not nearly as consistent, and you don't have the, uh, the neutral air to disable shenanigans with the infinite that you used to have in Smash 4. It seems like it's still a great out of shield option, though, if your opponent's not throwing out anything disjointed to beat it. Yeah, neutral air still very good, and I feel like Mewtwo's tools in this engine were tools like that in Smash 4. I was thinking like, okay, it should be, bu or Mewtwo should be busted. Like if you can do his down tilt out of a run, I had nightmares about it. But it's still a strong option, but not as strong. His game plan kind of changed a little bit, even though the core components are still all there. Oh, great back air from Jalen. What a quarter in the good back air, Jar Jay Dog. That's a great. All right, I'll give it to you. I'm very careful. I've only said it <laughs> once tonight. <laughs> All right, down throw. What's the tech chase? Forward tilt. That's nice. taking that. That was at 85 when, when uh, Jalen got grab. I don't think about Mewtwo. He's just so light. You can't afford to be played too many games against or as him because if you don't finish your plate, your plate's going to finish you. Yes, sir. But well, I feel like he's about to die. Oh, he almost. <laughs> that was almost so big brain. If the hairbox wasn't shifted forward by the forward tilt, he actually would have gotten blown up by that if he had done any other move because his tail was literally in front of him. That's that's so disturbing. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to see that happen. Yeah, poor Mewtwo. Sometimes you just live that jank hurt box. Or... Poor guy. But down throw. Next down throw could do it. Yep, the up tilt and, oh, gets blown up off the top. Mewtwo's so light, dude. 36% on Jalen's second stock here. That is night and day. Do you think that was a counter pick? Or do you think that was just Jalen adapting to the matchup and not killing himself at 50? I think a bit of both. A bit of both. Um, I feel like a bit more of the just the uh, adaptation and counterplay, though, because he just kept on killing Logic earlier. He just didn't yeah. have a chance to play the game. Literally, the, he, the man dotted 85 to a down throw and then just get the tech chase read right and get that forward tilt. And that's all Jalen needs. His, his forward tilt, or excuse me, his tech chase game out of down throws has always been one of his stronger suits. And if you've got a big body character, there's less, uh, there's more room for error, excuse me, less chance of you just whiffing just by inches. Yeah, and now Jalen does have to um, kind of take his opponent's counter pick into advantage. And is Logic going to go Olimar game three? I don't know if I agree with this. Yeah, the tag change usually does indicate a control change. He's got different controls for all of his characters. So, yeah, it looks like we're going Ollie. I don't agree with this at all. You had your counter pick, like, in terms of stage. I mean, if Logic can make it work, great. But you're changing gears in a game three scenario. This could be scary for you. That is always the rough part here when you have two characters that are competing for the slot of your main. You basically sometimes run out of like character confidence. It's like, hey, I just lost pretty badly. Do I ride or die? Or do I go ahead and switch characters because this character might have a better matchup or maybe it's I'm playing this character better. Like there's so many questions to ask yourself. And I feel like smashing, particularly open, is a game where you really want to clean clear your mind. And just yeah. like engage in what like you're able to do in game. But we'll have to see here if Logic is able to make this a sudden change here. This is a completely different play style that he's going to have to do. And I feel like the big problem with this is that this is something that Logic did a lot in Smash 4. Like, a lot. Oh, lose sure. the game, switch characters, lose the set. So hopefully, this is the first time seeing him. Fail him! He, uh, it turns out that it's not only Jalim's opponents that forget where the C4 is planted. Every now and then, Jalim might need to put a post-it note down to remind himself. That's such an uncharacteristic flub from him. I'm very shocked that that happened. It does happen to the best of them, though, in this one. We saw Ally do that a few times, too. It just seems as though every now and then it's like, huh, I guess that's where I put it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it happens to the best of us. Hopefully, Jalen can avoid that happening again, though, because if that does happen again, that would spell disaster in terms of his uh, place in the set. All right, so can we talk about how Olimar just literally he got off from the edge and then Logic just ran all the way across stage. Like, nope, don't want this. Get away. Get a full pick pin. See me in a minute. By any smoke. Now Jalen's still almost back into it. Honestly, if he can get in one more time and just kind of maybe even get a four or two, it could be huge. But no, Logic gets a grab. There's going to be some good damage. The light is on him until Jalen knocked it off of the forward air of its own. But that does get punished. And now Olimar clawing away at this stock, 97%. And Logic going for a sight? No, he just goes for a down. 
And a couple board smashes here as Logic is basically using that to just Jalen away from it. It's a good, safe way to tap Jalen's shield. Because, I mean, that's that's something that not a lot of characters can do because grenades. Yeah. But Ollie has really no problem with it. From Pikmin latches to board smashes, this man can pressure you at a safe distance. So, Olimar smash attacks did receive a little bit of a hit, if I remember right. They did, yes, and uh, up smash is now at, like minus eight on shield. Praise be! Thank God. It was just still really good in this game. Still minus really eight good, is still yeah. very, very good. Like, Fox up smash can punish it if it's done frame perfect. For context. Huh. Yeah, so that's still very good. <laughs> Not everyone has Fox's up smash. Yeah, they also basically got the projectile treatment, as it's all projectiles were weakened against shields, as were all these smashes. So he can't really pressure your shield as effectively by just going F smash, F smash, F smash. But Logic may not seem to need that tool. Seems like these 3.1 nerfs are just going fine for him as he has got a nice little lead here against Jalen. And Jalen seems to be having a bit of a hard time like pressuring Logic. The grenades have just kind of like vanished from his play. Cool. Oh my god, okay, if he had died to that, that would have been so bad for Logic. But now that he's alive, Olimar's just one of those characters that chips you away just by existing on the screen. So, this is just, you know, free money. And two purples in his lineup already. We are, uh, we are in for a world of hurt here. He gets his paws on Jalem Snake. Gonna toss him all away, though, is Nikita following you to the depths. Not quite gonna snuff Logic out, but that killer lineup is gone. And now he's might be starting to look for just another latch. The white's gone, the yellow's gone, he has pulled more Pikmin now. But this is still a pretty solid lineup. I mean any lineup with the purple is not bad. Yeah, Monique is uh, a clutch Pikmin. And Logic likely looking for a smash attack anytime soon, especially with the purple there. Or he can just get a few more damage in there and get a blue up throw, but no, the Pikmin lineup is reset, the socks are reset, but the percents are not Jalen. 106% on death's door. We're seeing and maybe we need another 20 or 30% here before uh, all of all these smashes become a threat to kill. Snake a bit of a heavier character, so about 130 to do it here. And it looks like Logic knows that percent too. He's content to go ahead and swing at a distance. But yeah, if you tap that shield, you best know what Pikmin's next in the lineup. Because Monique ain't going to take none of that. Uh, she doesn't 